Hey there all to the team. I wanted to show you that the record of the music does exist. Um, that all the recordings I'm going to show you up on my TV set. I have my computer uh, set into my TV up here. I'm using two different computers to record this video so you have live video of me actually showing you that every one of these uh, 5,000 recordings actually do exist and they're on a stream site where they're easily obtainable by the public or anybody could actually play them. I think what the confusion here is is that you don't know how to go to a website link, which is really easy to do. I mean, all you have to do is type in the URL into your browser and it takes you to play the music. But I'll show it to you anyway. So here is the archive.org slash detail slash longest digital album. That is the name that I gave to the album, where all you have to do is a very simple thing, and that's hit the play button. I'm going to turn that down for now so you can hear me talk. Uh, each one of the tracks is shown right here as these little bars off to the side. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll point to it right here. To skip down through the tracks, all you have to do is hit to the next track. Each one is over the requirement of 30 seconds long. Each one has its own time to it, which shows onto the side here. I'm going to point to it with my finger so you can see it. Each album of the 500 have the same artwork right here. I'll go down through this rel relatively slow so we can see everything in the information that is on the screen. All you have to do is skip through every one of these tracks and they're all there.
Now, if you request of me to go down through each and every one of these to show that they actually play, each track is unique according to the, uh, the witness and myself. That is a guarantee. All you have to do is come down through here in, in the page, and you can see that every track has its own unique name, every track has its own unique recording, and each one has a log book, which we're going to go into next. And I'll show you how the logs and uh, downloads for the album actually works. I also gave that as a link too, but I'll I'll show it to you here anyway. So, to uh, prove that there is 5,000 songs, come down all the way down to the bottom of the bar, or the dialog box that's opened here, and you can see with your own eyes there's 5,180 songs. Um, along with the recorded times on the side in each and every one of them, where my fingers are, shows the time that they were of each track. Now, to download the entire album, you can go to Show All, right here. And that brings you to the download page, where every 13 tracks, every 13 tracks is a full album. There is a, uh, a log of the date that it was recorded and the time that it was uploaded to the servers, along with the size of the music file recorded in MP3. But again, you can see this for yourself when you go to the link, which is archive download slash longest digital album. Now, every one of the uh, files is exactly what shows up on the player box on the main page. The same names, the same recordings, and what can be downloaded. Along with the time and date that it was recorded. And I'm going to skip all the way down through here just to show you that this all exists. Um, also, if you want to download the MP3, all you have to do is hit the file like this example here is exclamation point 186 MP3. All you do is click on it and you can download the file for you. There you go. That works for every one of these MP3s. For example, here's this one. Exclamation 191 MP3. And then over here where you see these three dots in a row, all you have to do is hit the word download and it will download that track for you. So they are downloadable. I'm going to slide all the way down to the bottom of the page because you have the link for yourself and you can see this in your own time. Okay. Um, every one of these files is there. And I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, so I'm going to try to move through here at a little bit of a uh, fast pace. Um, in the link, you can actually see every one of these tracks. Um, which is also on the main player page, the one with the, you know, the blue album cover with the guitar on it. These are exactly the same songs, exactly the same tracks. 
It's just shown in a different way. This is the log book. I have attached a PDF uh, version of this, a print digital copy of all songs as like a hard copy. And then I also gave you the link to be able to be able to download them. No, you have to use the link to be able to download them. Also, you have um, the picture of the music, which is the AFTK. That shows the, uh, the recording file in like a, a line graph uh, format, which is also on the main page. And it shows a PNG of the entire recording to show that each one of these tracks is unique in itself. As you can see, I'm only halfway down through this log book. So I'm going to move this down just a little bit faster so we can keep this video a little bit shorter. But as you can see, each one has its unique name. And each one has a unique recording along with the time that it was recorded along with the length. So like this one, for example, has, this was the 27th day. Uh, December of 2021, and then the track is 5 minutes and 37 seconds. Now, I can tell you that I went over the minimum requirement for every every song over the 30 seconds, because to me, a song is not 30 seconds long. I'm making a, a musical rock album. So the songs on average are over 3 minutes. Now, I do have tracks that are 20 minutes long, but I still only took it as one track in the, in the record attempt. Um, as long as it went past the 30 second requirement, I was happy to say that that met the guidelines for you guys. For example, this track has 16 minutes in it, this one has 14. This one here has 11. This one here, like for example, was recorded on the third day of November 21, has 20 minutes and 27 seconds in it. I've also given the, uh, the witness. The witness is uh, Paul Walker, who uh, has a musical background in commercialized music. I've attached his uh, his notes in the new attachment in the miscellaneous. It's also already been given. He's an expert uh, witness of 60 years in the music industry. Um, he gave a written testimony that all guidelines have been met, along with his qualifications of being a music teacher and, and a professor and also in recorded music. slide down to the bottom here. And the last song, the last tracks is a cover of Positions by R.M. Rotten, which I did on a guitar. And uh, every other one is they're either covers or unique tracks, which was also allowed. So most of the music is coming off the top of my head at the time while I'm playing it. Um, there has been no formula for what I've recorded. It's been experimental rock. Uh, one of the questions you asked me is about the equipment that I used. So I'm going to bring this out here. I'm going to show you my guitar. I'm going to try to hold the camera here and the guitar at the same time. But here it is. This is the guitar that made the entire album. Uh, many, many hours of play on this guitar. Um, it, the neck at this point is almost relic from playing it so much. Um, uh, 
Not to mention, I always refer to this guitar as very heavy. It is a very, very heavy, very girthy guitar. Um, my amplifier is just a standard uh, Line 6 amplifier. It's a 15-watt amp, and I use um, better uh, editor audio as a recording platform. Uh, that used to be called Audacity. Uh, they switched their name. It's a, a free download that anybody can use to record music. Uh, there's nothing fancy. The only thing I use is a little bit of reverb um, and maybe a little delay on some of the tracks. I produced. I did the editing of the tracks. I recorded all the tracks. It was overseen by my professionals who um, reviewed the album. And um, that's about it. But I wanted to make sure that I show you how you can get onto this uh, music platform, which is commercialized. Correct. It is archive. Hold on. There we go. The album cover, which is the same for all 500. Every 13 tracks is considered an album, which means if there's 5,000 songs, there would be 5,000 uh, uh, 5, songs, 500 albums. Correct. Let me go down through this one more time. While I'm talking to you, I also wanted to tell you that I am released through uh, Bandcamp. Let me, let me get that up here for you. You can't miss this page, it's bright yellow. Um, it's Marcel Ray Derez, period, bandcamp.com slash album Derez. Um, right here. Now this will tell you to go to um, the link that is provided here to be able to play the album, which is right here. This gives you a uh, rundown of the releasing of all the albums. Um, along with my main page and my music and a picture of what it looks like along with the album cover. That is a music release that was done for the music showing that uh, the album has been released like all other albums in the world. Bandcamp is a great provider. The next one you needed to ask me was using a record label. Give me one moment and I'll get that link up. 